Pragya has made not just her family, her father and mother proud, but all of us judges of the Supreme Court and I believe she has made the entire judiciary and the legal profession in India proud uh, because of her achievements. Uh, Pragya has been, as you know, admitted to uh, Michigan uh, Law School with a very substantial scholarship and to other law schools like uh, New York University, um, like Berkeley, um, and so many other institutions, the Chicago University of Chicago Law School. So she has an unending list of institutions who are willing to take her and admit her. So she's truly made us proud. And I think it's a sign of uh, young India. Uh, our youngsters who are working hard, they have the ambition, they have the ability to work hard to achieve their dreams. Therefore, I, I, I wish Pragya all the best. We celebrated her achievements by inviting her to the judges' lounge, uh, where we all have coffee today. Uh, in the morning, we have coffee every morning, uh, all of us judges, and we invited Pragya and her parents to join us and to celebrate her achievements. What do you expect from her now? Well, I expect just one thing, whether she returns back to India after her education abroad or stays abroad, I know she'll be a torchbearer for a nation and that whatever she does, she'll achieve excellence and she'll carry the dreams of uh, 1.4 billion people on her shoulders very easily. Uh, Pragya, what do you have to say? I am, I feel like I'm very, it's very overwhelming for me. I'm extremely happy and thank you, sir, for this platform. Thank you for rewarding me for what I've done till now. And uh, thank you for this platform. I feel I'm very fortunate. I, I want to say just thank you.